Guys, what's up? Let's get me in the building, like, comment, and subscribe. What go on, peeps? Are we there with Anita? Why you do it, John Crawford? Oh! Bang! But as usual, guys, right before we get tonight, just remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe because it really helps out the Jamaica YouTuber for sure. But anyway, peeps, no more itching. Right into it. Alright, peeps, so. Latest thing right now, so I know say a lot of people, including myself, probably uh, wonder about the lockdown we happened the other day and the protocol and why Andrew Wellness do it and thing and thing. Because when I understand, you know, lockdown on Sunday and half day on Saturday and even during the Easter holiday on Friday, lockdown 12 o'clock. So, in my interview when we do with a journalist, I explain everything and some other things. So, no more itching. We could get right in it and see what's going on. Mm -hmm. Well, Caucasian, if you touch on the systemic inequality in the country, the persons in your constituency and in so many other constituencies across the island who can't buy food for three days of lockdown, they are saying this is you carrying the inequality even further because Vernon buys food for the month, but you know the little corner shop in, in Olympic way and a Sunday morning it's full with everybody and buy two pounds of chicken and two pounds of rice. But you, each day. Yeah. Each day. But your government has said to them you can't do that. So, so you know, which is my, origin, my point I was making to you earlier. Journalism in the country has to go further than just what is common knowledge. Obviously it's common knowledge that if you lock down, you can't, you know, they, as I was giving the example, of the farmer who has to come in from St. Mary, who sells in Coronation Market. That household that depends on that sale in Coronation on Saturday. That is gone. So they are not able to stock up. Like Vernon, who gets his pay on a monthly basis and goes to <laughs> Price Mart and comes out with three or four trolleys. Oh, I wish. <laughs> The, the point, the, the, obviously we know that, that's, that's, you're repeating what we already know. Yeah. What we don't know, how do we stop that from happening? And why do we have to do this? We have to lock down because the persons who are going to the corner shop on a Sunday or a Saturday or whichever day to buy the two pound of rice, the, the, the big jilla oil, the half a bread and so forth, and the half a chicken or chicken parts or chicken back. Those persons are not wearing their masks. They are not social distancing. They may not get ill, but their grandmother or an older uncle would get ill. Yeah. And when they go to the hospital, there is no bed there for them or oxygen there for them and then they go on social media and say the government wicked see what they are suffer yeah. not making the connection and i'm saying that the conversation that we're having is being very limited mm -hmm. and this is what i was saying earlier to you that the management of the information in the pandemic is as much as uh, of importance as how we manage the health and the economy because this infodemic, which is being used to highlight in some cases, which is important, but in an opportunistic way to create social tensions, to create divergence and conflict in the society because of the existing and traditional inequalities and inequities, that that is also a, a, a very dangerous thing in the, in the society, of which the government is very sensitive. And, and I raise it, that if we are going to ensure that people wherever in Jamaica can, you know, continue with their hustle, continue with their jobs, earn income, and continue with commerce, continue with, with going back to school, they will also have to learn to live with the pandemic, live with the coronavirus, which only moves if people move, which is only transmitted if you are in proximity or you touch a surface where the virus is alive. So important that you keep sanitizing your hands, 
and to avoid the proximity issue, wear a mask. It's, it's not rocket science. It is simple public health. And it's not the first that we have had to do this. In many years gone by when we had cholera and other kinds of diseases, uh, we have had to take similar public health stance. Uh, and we have been successful in that, in hand washing, not spitting on the streets and so forth. We have had to do that. Uh, and we can do it now. We have greater hope that the pandemic will end. How will the pandemic end? The pandemic can end in the natural courses that we have seen in history, where people who did not have an understanding of the public health science behind transmission just went about their business in a normal way, and a significant portion of the population died and got natural immunity for those who survived. Mm -hmm. Or we can use our heads and take the knowledge that is there and comply with the measures until the storm passes. And it, it will pass if we follow these rules, if we don't give the virus any space to move about, to be transmitted and to uh, infect others. And that is just by changing the way in which we behave. All right, peeps, when you hear that, from the man himself, Andrew Willis, AKA Bro God, Prime Minister of Jamaica. Yeah, he makes some good points still. You know what I mean? Um, I like the, the part where he say, um, we as a nation must try to think beyond the common knowledge. You know, and the common understanding. You know, so, yeah, make a whole heap of points still. <laughs> a whole heap of points, but um, let me know your point still. You know, apologize about the the cutting and stuff like that. Work I go on. So yeah, guys, <laughs> yeah, apologize uh, um, about that. But yeah, um, let me know your thoughts on the whole matter. Uh, Cause a lot of people have a whole lot of uh, questions to ask, and this is the answer to a lot of the questions where the journalist said from Observer that. Enough man have corner shop and stuff like that when you can hustle on a Sunday the whole place locked down where it can be even me you you know what I mean you want to get some something quick we we'll run out of you know what I mean get the chicken and so and even if man where do you go hustle can't do it but if you think beyond that as him say we might be immune to it but what about our grandfather our grandparents our grand aunts the little children then you know what I mean, our mother, our father, all the elderly people, them. you know, so, yeah, I guess the quicker we do what we have to do, the sooner we can knock out all of this, including getting our vaccines and stuff like that, so, yeah, we're there, we can move on to the next video, you know. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, man, Jamaica nice, man. How you ask, man? A regular man cools you out on the raft, man. How you talk about, man? What a pretty antic, man. How you ask, man? Mm. Move from there! Quick! Move here! We no service to the raft! Oh, the chocolate don't go! Be a rotten bamboo! Sound your fuck! Yes, sir. The youth them nowadays now, they nah think the right way. Jamaican youth them, and shortcut them a deal with you. No man no want work, no man. Alright, nowadays I get them and think it's 9 to 5. I eat their yeah, thing, them think the star. Every man talk about bang my phone and scam in and ray ray. Show me when I scam out there for 10 years happy. When blood clot him death. Them pussy well, they are short term them get. Alright, eat a food and laugh and talk and all the hype and two days in the city. We came away there from 10 years ago now. When they? When business there? I wish I was here up in Africa and Turkey and I sit down on the veranda and nobody now look for me. When they? That them now think about it. man, if you know, listen, that now in our country again, you know. Last Dan, what did they and they endured us? <clears throat> Alright? And then transfer him. Dan business shut off. Okay? The last Dan we meet in Jamaica, our female named Blood Clad Corona. <laughs> 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 what? 
all right peeps <laughs> hope you enjoy them video and thing let me know your thoughts on it my thoughts as I said from before and you always make a good point you know what I mean answering a lot of questions but people ask like myself out the road come to the man they my hustle come to the man they my do them things on the Saturday and the Sunday and thing but the night and night did rough still because during the Easter holidays they still run the place lock down tight and enough little things me they run out of my yard still and they buy things trust me but they don't know say I will leave away the day I eat and you know what I mean they never have nothing else to do. sit down eat up food do whatever we do to do whole Easter holiday and things done fast me just lock up in the house so uh, that me just I say so yeah <laughs> <laughs> when everything they run out still are you know, one time they kind of feel a little bit sickish, my sinus. Why am I really in a really nice look on the road to get some <laughs> some sinus tablets still, you know what I mean? But yo, as them say, that was the next best thing to do. Um rather than lock down the entire country. You know what I mean? So yeah, and that we do. And uh, yeah, I guess that's just the question then. <laughs> but let me know. Let me know your thoughts on the whole matter. Comment down below and make a chat. You know? And be there. As always, big up on yourself. Big up everybody who continue rock with your boy. And guess what? Just go and join with your boy. <laughs> Find a queer thing, Jane. And I